sugar, spice, and everything nice. Welcome to Toy Transformations. Today I'm super excited because we have not one but three amazing transformations Blossom, Bubbles, and Buttercup from the Powerpuff Girls. What makes it more awesome is that we're gonna be using Chelsea and her friends. Thus, the Powerpuff Girls were born! So, if you wanna find out how to make them, come with me. Let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is work in their outfits. So, we're gonna be using some of the shiny fabric for the dresses, and later we'll be making Blossom's lovely bow. So, make sure you find the right colors for each of them. So let's make Blossom's dress. It's gonna be quite easy because we will be using one of Chelsea's dress as a stencil. So lay it on the mop side of the fabric and draw the shape of the dress with a pen. Now let's do the same for Bubbles' dress. Lay your stencil on the mop side of the fabric and mark the shape with a pen. Make sure the dress is fully extended over the fabric before you mark it. And then we're gonna do the same for Buttercup. Remember, this has to be on the mouth side of the fabric. You don't want to have pen marks on that lovely dress. So make sure it's completely extended and don't forget the holes for the arms. Once we've marked her dresses, it's time to cut them out. Let's start with Blossom's one since she is the leader. Just cut it out with a pair of scissors following the lines you drew with the pen, like this. And now let's cut a Bubbles dress. I love it because it's blue and that's one of my favorite colors. Just remember to follow the lines you drew with the pen and you'll have a lovely dress like this one. And don't forget about Buttercup, cause she might get pretty angry if you do. So let's cut out her green dress. I think it's a pretty cool color. It goes with her personality, don't you think? To cut out the holes for the arms, what you gotta do is fold the fabric like this. Now cut the inner part of the circle like this, just follow the line. Once you cut them out, the dresses should look like this. But we're only getting started, we need to work in the details so they look totally awesome. So we're gonna use a lighter to get rid of those loose threads. Ask your grown up to help you. Keep in mind that this has to be super quick and it's important to make sure that the flame doesn't get super close to the fabric. See? Just like this go all around the dress. Now let's make the black stripes for the dresses. We're gonna be using some black fabric and a white pencil. With the white pencil, draw three lines of the same length with the same spaces in between them. Make sure you mark them right, just like this. Now let's cut them out. Start cutting where the three lines end and follow a straight line, just like if you were cutting a rectangle. Now let's cut this side following the line we drew, just like this. Now we're gonna cut each of them following the lines we drew. You just gotta do a straight cut with your scissors on each of the lines. Very good! Now let's get rid of those loose threads. Ask for the help from a grown-up, because we will be using a lighter again. So carefully go around the strips with the lighter. We're doing a great job! Next, we need to use some clear glue and spread it out like this. Then fold the stripe in half and press with your fingers to make sure all of the glue is spread out evenly. Now we're gonna use a piece from this velcro strip, about this long. Then cut this piece into three pieces of the same size. So here's one, two, and three. Perfect! Let's use some ribbon to make Blossom's bow, so let's cut some of it, about this size will do. Try to find a ribbon that's the same color as the fabric you use for the dress, this way they will match perfectly. Now let's add just a drop of clear glue on the ribbon, then fold it this way and stick it like this. Let's add some more of the clear glue and then fold it this way. And there you have it! Blossom's bow looks so cute, don't you think? But we will be adding some more details later to make it even cuter. And now we have all we need for their outfits. Look, here are their dresses, Blossom's bows, the black strips of their dresses, and the velcro we will use to make them stay closed and in place. So let's attach the velcro to the dress. 
What you need to do is peel off the black and stick the velcro right on the very edge of the dress. Just like this. Then turn over the dress and stick the opposite part of the velcro right on the very edge of the dress as well. Very good. And there you have it. The dress should stay closed perfectly. Now let's make Buttercup shoes. We will use some air dry clay for this. So what we're gonna do is grab some and cover her feet with it. Use your fingers to shape it. And now it's Bubbles turn. She can't be flying around barefoot. So we're gonna cover her feet with the air dry clay and shape it with your fingers. And don't forget about Blossom. She's gonna need some shoes if she wants to fight crime. So let's do the same with her. Like this. And now the other foot. Before the clay dries, we're gonna use a modeling tool to give their shoes the same look as the ones from the cartoon. So we're gonna mark here until we get the shape of the strap their shoes have. Now let's do the same for Bubbles. And the next one is Blossom. Once we're done with the shoes, we're gonna paint their socks with some acrylic white paint. So use a thin brush and paint both of her legs. It doesn't matter if you paint some of the shoe because we're about to give them some color too. Now let's do the same for Bubbles. And the next one is Blossom. Once we're done with the shoes, we're gonna paint their socks with some acrylic white paint. So use a thin brush and paint both of her legs. It doesn't matter if you paint some of the shoe because we're about to give them some color too. Once the socks are dry, we're gonna paint the shoes with some acrylic black paint. Make sure you use a thin brush and do it carefully. You gotta be patient, especially when you get to the strap, because you don't wanna get paint socks. Then we're gonna do the same for bubbles. Once you're finished with bubbles, make sure you do the same with Blossom's shoes. It's time to put their dresses on. So lift Buttercup's arms and get them through the armholes of her dress. Now use the velcro to close it. She's beginning to look pretty cool, isn't she? Just wait because there's more coming. Now let's put on Blossom's dress. There you go. And then Bubbles one. Oh, she's so cute and sweet. Let's give the final details to those dresses. We're gonna wrap the black strips around their waist. Then, mark with a white pencil where the strip needs to be trimmed. Once you've marked it, you just have to use scissors. Then we're gonna do the same with Blossom. I think they look cooler and cooler with every single little detail we're adding. Now, what do you think? Now that we trimmed the excess of the black strips, it's time to attach them to their dresses. So we're gonna use some clear glue. Just a drop at the very front of her waist will do like this and let's also glue the two ends on the back with a few drops as well and let's do the same with bubbles and blossom bubbles looks great but we need to change her hair a little to make it look even better so let's cut the tips of those braids to make her hair a little shorter then undo the braids and brush her hair like this now we need to make her hair look shinier so we're gonna use a yellow marker you just have to go all over her hair until it looks even then we're gonna give blossom that cool black hair she has so let's use an orange marker go all over her hair and make sure that the color looks even be careful not to paint her face since buttercup has a very particular hairstyle we're gonna remove the hair and with a black marker paint all of her scalp zone. You can draw the hairline first and then fill it. Now we're gonna use some of this wig to give Buttercup her new look. A small piece like this one will do, so we're gonna cut it. We will fix Bubbles' hair with some hair gel. We're gonna comb those pigtails so they look just like the ones Bubbles has in the cartoon. Then we're gonna use a small piece of pink foam to draw a tiny heart on it. This will be for Blossom's bow, then cut it out with scissors. Now, use a tiny drop of clear glue and attach the heart to the front of the bow. Then we're gonna use a bit more clear glue to attach the bow to the top of Blossom's head. That's the final touch she needed! 
We're almost done. We just need to make Blossom's eyes pink, since that's the color of her eyes in the cartoon. So use the tip of a modeling tool and some acrylic pink paint. This way she will look super cool. Now do the same with Buttercup to give her her fantastic green eyes. And they are ready now. Look, here's Blossom. She's definitely my favorite. Because she's pretty smart and she always knows what to do. That's why she's the leader and she always comes up with a great plan to save the day. Do you like this version of her? Here we have Bubbles. She looks super cute. I like Bubbles because she's the sweetest of them. She has such a nice personality and she loves animals. Which one is your favorite Powerpuff Girl? Let us know on the comments below. And here's Buttercup. She's the toughest of all, and I think that she is the best at fighting. Her hair looks pretty cool, and I think that this version looks a little cuter than the Buttercup from the cartoon. Well, guys, here are the Powerpuff Girls. Did you like today's transformations? Here we have Bubbles with her lovely blue dress and that golden hair. Here's Blossom with that super cute pink, her red hair, and of course her bow. And here's Buttercup rocking that awesome green dress and her black hair. If you liked the video, please give us a like and let us know on the comments below which one was your favorite transformation. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out any of our next videos. We love you so much, guys! See you in the next video! Bye! Don't ever think